Hello everyone, welcome to today's quote to contemplate. So today's quote is, leave your mind alone and it will leave you alone. Um, why would we do that? Why would we leave our mind alone? Okay, so we're simply saying that actually you might believe that your thoughts are picking on you, that they're, they're incessant thoughts going round and round and round in your mind. But actually we choose to focus on thoughts. There are many thoughts that we just ignore. But remember when you learnt your SEJ, we talked about that emotional pull. There's those thoughts with that strong emotional pull and suddenly our attention is there. And they're always the ones that maybe cause us some discomfort, maybe where there's um, memories of betrayal or heartache or loss in some way, shape or form. So we need to just leave these thoughts alone and then they will leave us alone. And of course, eventually what this means is the mind just becomes quieter, a lot stiller that you actually start to disidentify from your thoughts. You become more still within yourself because your mind is becoming more still. So it begins with you just noticing that strong emotional pull with certain thoughts and how those thoughts draw you in and you choose to put your attention on them. You can say, no, I'm not listening. Do your SEJ. And then you don't have to try to not listen to the thoughts because that's the issue, isn't it? Trying to not listen to those thoughts. It's very difficult. But when you do your SEJ, the thought just dissolves. The energy in the thought dissolves. So you don't want to put your attention on them anyway because the strong pull, it's gone. It's dissipated. That's the beauty of the SEJ. No trying involved. We just bring you back to truth. Or rather, you bring yourself back to truth because it's your practice. So wishing you a wonderful day of living in that space of truth as you practice your SEJ. Bye for now.